this has revolutionized the field of biology. Um, but what I really find an extraordinary way of taking the iPhones and droids and all these kids are just addicted to their phones, right? They're not going out in nature. So there is a called nature deficit syndrome. It's actually affecting people. But there's a there is an app that I'm just in love with called iNaturalist. iNaturalist, you can take a phone and you can go out and you can look at a flower, a frog, a mineral, a mushroom. You photograph it. You upload it into the cloud of iNaturalist. And they have all these experts, am amateurs, trying to tell you what it is. Oh, no, you're right. No, you're right. And then when it hits research grade, it's when a group of experts come together and says, yep, you have Carpanus chemetus. Oh, yep, mm. you have Boletus edulis. They agree on identification, but it has fueled the scientific community with all sorts of these citizen scientists finding new species. And oh. it brings people into nature. It gets kids excited. And, they, and then you can go to iNaturalist right now. And you can look around your house or this place to see the reports of birds and mushrooms and things. But it's so exciting in the field of biology and mineralogy and ornithology, et cetera, to have all these citizen scientists out there with their phones. And then every year, all over the world now, there's called uh, bio, uh, bio blitzes, where several hundred people literally come together, they go into a park, they have all their iPhones and droids, and they, they photograph everything and they upload it to iNaturalist to look at species diversity. This has revolutionized the field of biology. I think it revolutionizes bringing children and young people back into nature. And you, then you build a community. So it's, um, it's inspiring to see the kids get so excited about this and adults.